Hello Urban Explorers. I have just found one of the coolest things I've ever seen in Atlanta. This is, um, I'll walk up there and show it to you in just a minute, but this is a monument that was created uh, and designed for the Confederate soldiers that died here. And, uh, Take a look at the uh, magnolia tree that's right behind it. There's actually a couple of magnificent trees right here. That magnolia tree right there behind this, the lion statue is what you're going to read about in a second. But here's another magnificent magnolia right there. And that's the other, that's the tall uh, obelisk monument, also a Confederate monument, that's uh, over there as you come into the entrance here. But uh, let's take a look at this together. It's called Oakland's Confederate Magnolia. To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted. Ecclesiastes 3, 1, 2. Over 100 years old, origin unknown, but duty well done. Guardian of the unknown Confederate dead, sheltering arms for Atlanta's beloved lion, never to be forgotten, but living through those left behind. This was dedicated December 3rd of 1998 by the Oakland Historic Foundation. And I want to show you this. This is uh, one of the stops. This is actually the first stop, or stop B, on our Battle of Atlanta tour that's coming up July 16th and 22nd. You can actually get in here. But let me show you this. Uh, this is a, uh, a sculpture that was uh, designed from granite and it came from Canton, Georgia. You can see there Tim Brady was the, uh, the sculptor. This is a, kind of a, a small replica of a similar statue that's in Lucerne, Switzerland, that was built for the, the Swiss Army. That um, it, it captures or depicts the agony of, of defeat, so to speak. And uh, in the case of the Swiss soldiers, it was not uh, being able to protect the, the royal family in Switzerland. And uh, they, they, they built this, uh, this huge version of this statue right into the side of a mountain. Uh, I'll show you a picture. In fact, I've posted a few here. So this uh, group, and uh, this was the, uh, I think it was the Ladies Memorial um, Corps that was formed in the early 1900s to honor the Confederate soldiers. That was part of the story here. But this, this uh, let's take a look at this, the detail on this. And, and like I say, this is basically a replica of the, of the piece that's in Lucerne. And it's just magnificent. I would say it's about... 10 feet long by about maybe four to five feet deep. But you can just get a sense of how stunning this is right here. And uh, I, just, I just learned about this. I've been in the cemetery a few dozen times. I never knew this was here. I learned about this because of that uh, essay that I'm basing my, my, my walking tour on, which was, um, was uh, d designed by Emory University and uh, Dr. Daniel Pollock, who's an epidemiologist with the CDC, uh, designed the tour that we're going to be uh, basing ours on here. here here's the, uh, the, the tribute. It was erected by the Atlanta Ladies Memorial Association in 1894. So we're basically talking 30 years after the Civil War. And they, uh, they did similar things all over the, uh, all over the United States. So just thought you wanted to see this. This is, uh, again, this is the first of our first stop. It's the second stop on the Emory tour, but I've, I've redesigned the tour and it is the first stop. Uh, we'll start here and then we'll work our way south and over to uh, East Atlanta where a lot of the Battle of Atlanta took place. But uh, anyway, I'm just, I'm blown away by the, by the beauty and the, I don't know what, just the, ser the serenity and the profoundity of this. And uh, there's over 3,000 unknown Confederate soldiers buried.